and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to show you what a typical day will look like while using the four to five level from beyond the page. The four to five level is broken into 26 units. Each unit will take about a week and each unit focuses on a letter of the alphabet. There are also four additional holiday units that you will add in when it most fits to add that holiday unit in. When you're starting a new unit, I always like to see what's going to be expected as far as supplies and activities for that week. You're going to always want to start in your parent manual. In the parent manual, when you open a new unit, it's always going to give you a supply list for the entire unit. So you may not use these supplies every day of the lessons in this unit, but it gives you an idea of things that you may need for the week. A tip I like to share is I normally look at this when we're ending the prior school week. So I know if I need to add some items onto my weekend shopping list. So I'm going to go through my required materials list for unit 11 and gather my supplies. Now, if you purchase the entire four to five kit, which includes all the literature, curriculum and materials kit, a lot of this is already provided for you. So there are two books we're going to be reading in this unit. The first book is The Seasons of Arnold's Apple Tree. So this book will be a main theme over this unit. And then The Real Mother Goose. This book does make multiple appearances throughout the four to five level using different mother goose stories. I have also grabbed out from my materials kit my unit 11 packet. Now, mostly every unit has this type of packet in the materials kit, but there are some materials that are shared amongst other units. So this is the one I grabbed out, but I may need additional supplies from my kit as well. So then I'm going to go into my day one and see, okay, what do we need today for today's lesson? Normally the first day of a new unit, you're reading that book for the first time and just jumping in to the lesson. So I have some of my items I need in here, which are those red pom-poms. I have my reading book. It also calls for the world map. This is again, something that gets used across multiple units, a ball or globe. So that is something that I would need to make sure that we have. And that is all the required supplies for day one's lesson. Now we move in to our vocabulary and sight words. So every unit, has one vocabulary word and one sight word. So by the end of that unit, your child should be expected to know that sight word and the definition of their vocabulary word. So the vocabulary word for unit 11 is season. And the sight word for this unit is sum. Both start with the letter S and both are going to be represented in this unit multiple times. I like to read through the next section of facts and definitions to make sure I understand what concepts are going to be important for me to go over with my child throughout this lesson. Each day we're also going to list out the skills. The skills are telling you what concepts are linked to what subject. So if you're interested to know what language arts concepts, what science, social study, and math concepts are going to be taught, those are all listed for you in the unit as well. Then we're gonna get into the reading section. So again, this would be the first day that we are reading this book. So you're always gonna to wanna to start by going over the cover. If your child is still learning things like author, illustrator, it's a great time to go over that. They, you're gonna want them to guess what the book's gonna be about based on the cover. And then you're gonna go ahead and read through the book with your child. And then there is some discussion questions to answer afterwards. So in today's lesson, we have a couple activities. So activity one, we're going to need our student activity book. And this is gonna be our first activity page. So in my student activity book, I see I have a tree with some buckets. They're going to be practicing addition in this activity. Your child is gonna begin by putting all 10 apples which are the red pom-poms from this materials kit on the trees themselves and then you're going to tell your child you're going to shake it and those are going to fall into the buckets below so you're going to pretend to kind of shake the paper have an apple fall down have your child understand how many fell down then on a piece of paper you're going to show them that equation so one apple fell first then another apple so that would be one plus one equals two 
you're going to want to make sure you are explaining the symbols, the plus sign, the equal sign, how to write the problem, and you're going to continue practicing this with different equations. So three plus one, five plus two, whatever you and your child want to do. And I would recommend taking some turns, letting your child shake the paper, have some of the apples fall off. If your child is also learning to write at this level, then you would maybe want them to copy the equations themselves to practice that letter writing. Now these red pom-poms and this apple page are going to be used again, so do not get rid of them. Do not do anything else with them except what this activity says. The next activity is going to include the world map and then either a globe or a ball. We are going to be talking about the equator. This is a very abstract activity. So this is not going to be an activity that has a worksheet with it. You're really going to be reading through the parent manual and explaining to your child multiple concepts about looking at the map, looking at a round globe where they are doing some activities with them standing up. And so this is just a unique approach to a different activity to get them up moving and thinking about things a little abstractly versus just a pen to paper. And that would conclude your lesson for the day. So we started off our lesson with going over our vocabulary word of this unit our sight word for this unit. We read our new book for this unit. We had some discussion questions. We completed activity one, which included addition practice, so a math type activity. And then we used the world map and a globe to do a abstract physical social studies activity. I hope you enjoyed seeing how a typical four to five lesson works. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Mm -hmm.